start with the COVID Origins Act, which Senator Paul mentioned a second ago, and which I think is such a great case study in the failure of the, of the federal government, the executive branch, to even comply with the law. I mean, forget being responsive to, to FOIA requests, although we'll get to that in just a second, but just to comply with the law. Mr. Ruskin, you highlighted in your written testimony that it was one year ago today, I think, that the president signed into law the COVID Origins Act, which, as Senator Paul pointed out, we passed unanimously here in the Senate. It passed in the House pretty close to unanimously. It passed on suspension. So that was a year ago. The administration under the law, and by the way, this you can read the law. It's very short. I wrote it. Uh, it, it's not, it is not uh, uh, a, an optional command. It is mandatory. It is, as lawyers say, precatory. It is you shall. They, they shall declassify any and all information relating to potential links between the Wuhan Institute of Virology and the origin of COVID. So... Finally, late on June 23rd, they blew through the statutory deadline. The, the statute sets a deadline, as you remember, Mr. Ruskin. There's a deadline in the statute. The administration blew right through that deadline. And then late, in violation of the statutory deadline, they don't produce any and all information related to potential links. They give us a five-page summary of information, which is abs in total violation of the statute, and then a, co a cover page. <laughs> That's important. And then an appendix, which sheds no light on anything. For a grand total, I think, of, of uh, 10 pages. I mean, it's, it's a joke. It's a, it's a total joke. I immediately wrote to ODNI, Director of National Intelligence, and said, you're a violation of the statute. Do you want to try again and actually comply? Or maybe you'd like to come testify to this committee. I don't think that was a year ago. I, I sent that on June 27th of last year. I just checked again this morning. I don't think I've ever gotten a response to that letter. I mean, it's basically the FU from ODNI. and 